Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. Here's a slightly edited version of an email I received. Hi Presh, I got this problem from a Chinese math teacher. It was used to identify gifted kids for competition. ABCD is a parallelogram. In the diagram, the areas of yellow regions are 8, 10, 72, and 79. Find the area of the red triangle. The diagram is not to scale. The math prerequisites to solve this problem are basic arithmetic and knowing the area of a parallelogram and the area of a triangle. I was told a few Chinese fifth graders solved it in less than one minute. Oh well, it took me almost 10. Bill from New York. So I gave this problem a try and it was extremely challenging for me and I just couldn't figure it out. So I replied to Bill, I couldn't solve it. Please let me know the solution. So I'm going to magnify this problem for you and I'm going to ask you, can you figure out this problem? Give this puzzle a try and when you're ready, keep watching the video for a solution. So here's the magical answer. It turns out to be a simple calculation. The area of the red triangle is 79 plus 10 minus 72 minus 8, which equals 9. Wow! But why is this the answer? It's important to understand the method to verify the answer and to strengthen problem solving skills. So even though I didn't find the answer, it was very exciting for me to understand how the answer could be solved in such a simple method. Bill explained to me the key is finding a triangle or set of triangles whose area equals one half the area of the parallelogram. So before I get to the solution, I want to quickly review the areas of a parallelogram and a triangle. So let's take a parallelogram and we'll consider the base of the parallelogram as its length. To find the area, we draw a vertical altitude as its height. Now the area of a parallelogram is its base times its height. But we can also calculate it taking the width of the parallelogram as its base. We then draw a horizontal altitude as its height, and we then use the same formula of base times height, even though we'll be using different values for its base and its height this will still give us the area of a parallelogram. Now from this formula, we can deduce the area of a triangle. Let's draw the diagonal of this parallelogram and notice we split it into two equal triangles. So the triangle has half the area of the parallelogram. Therefore, the triangle has an area that's equal to base times the height divided by two. We can also use the formula if we take the base of the triangle as the width of the parallelogram, we then will want to use the horizontal altitude as the height. So we can use the formula base times height divided by two, but we can look at different sides as the base. Furthermore, this formula will be true for a triangle that's not even the diagonal of the parallelogram. As long as it has the same base and the same height, we will still get half the area of the parallelogram. So keep this in mind, it'll be a very useful principle for solving this problem. One more thing that'll be useful is that it doesn't just have to be one triangle. Imagine we have a set of two triangles that span the length of this parallelogram, and both of them have the same height as the parallelogram. So the sum of these two triangles areas will again be equal to the base times the height divided by two, and this will also be equal to half the area of the parallelogram. This will also be true if we take two triangles that span the width of the parallelogram. So now let's use these principles to solve the problem. We go to our diagram, and the first thing we'll do is we'll label the remaining areas. We'll write A, B, C, D, E, and F, and we'll change the question mark, the red triangle, into the variable x. 
We want to solve for x. So how do we do that? Well, let's look for some triangles whose area will be half the parallelogram. One set of triangles will be these two blue triangles. They span the length of the parallelogram and they have the same height as the vertical altitude of the parallelogram. So if we focus on just these two triangles, we can see that their area will be half the area of the parallelogram, and we can also calculate their area by adding up these letters. We have x plus a plus 72 plus b plus 8. Now let's look for another triangle whose area is half the area of the parallelogram. Consider this orange triangle here. This orange triangle spans the width of the parallelogram and its height is equal to the horizontal altitude. So its area will also be half the area of the parallelogram. We can write out its area as a plus 79 plus b plus 10. Now both of these sets of shapes have an area that's equal to half the area of the parallelogram. So we can set these areas equal to each other. So we equate these two formulas for the half the area of the parallelogram, and now we can solve for x. Notice that on both sides we have an a, so these will cancel. On both sides we have a b, so these will cancel. So we end up with the equation x plus 72 plus 8 is equal to 79 plus 10. We then solve for x to get 79 plus 10 minus 72 minus 8, which equals 9. And that's how we get the magical answer. But there's also another way if you pick some other triangles. So I just want to illustrate that for you because Bill also sent that to me. So imagine you take these two triangles. These two triangles span the length of the parallelogram and they have a height equal to the vertical altitude of the parallelogram. Therefore, their area will be equal to half the area of the parallelogram. The areas of these two triangles in total will be C plus 79 plus E plus D plus 10 plus F. Now we'll do the same thing. We'll consider a different triangle or a different set of triangles along the width of the parallelogram. So these orange triangles will have a base that's equal to the width of the parallelogram and they span the horizontal altitude of the parallelogram. So together their total area will be equal to half the area of the parallelogram. Their area is equal to x plus c plus 72 plus d plus e plus 8 plus f. So now we have two sets of shapes whose area is equal to half the area of the parallelogram. So we set these areas equal to each other and we get the following equation. Now we'll cancel out all of the terms that we can. We'll end up canceling everything except for x and the numbers that we want. So we end up simplifying this to be 79 plus 10 is equal to x plus 72 plus 8. And we get exactly the same equation as before and we again solve that the area of the red triangle x is equal to 9. So it's quite remarkable to me that fifth graders in China were able to solve this in less than a minute. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions. If you like this video, you can check out my books, which are linked in the video description, and you can support me on Patreon. If you have a puzzle suggestion or topic suggestion, you can email me at presh at mindyourdecisions.com. And you can also catch me on social media, either at Mind Your Decisions or at Presh Tallwalker.